to episode number two of our new Jersey Devils franchise mode in NHL 17. So first things first, we have to go over some comments and a bunch of things that you guys were talking to me in the comments. You guys definitely helped me out. So the biggest thing that I was worried about and kind of concerned about was the potential wise because me obviously playing Legacy last year, I didn't know a whole lot about what the potential, I just kind of wanted to know what it was converted into uh, the next gen. Like what did it mean star wise? So Alex De Rosa, he helped me out big time. He breaks it down, and I'm actually gonna save this on my computer so I can go back and look. But he pretty much says for he kind of breaks it down actually awesome, which is forwards, defensemen, and goalies. So let's just talk about the forwards here. Franchise potential means five stars. So he's gonna be a for sure fire 90 plus NHLer. Elite potential means four and a half stars. So four and a half stars usually like mid 80s, like 87, like to 91, which is pretty cool. Uh, top six is four star which could be anywhere from again 85 to 90 uh three and a half stars or maybe not 85 to 90 like 83 to like 86 or 87 and then the rest you don't really want to worry about and kind of the same thing that goes for uh, defensemen and for goalies so i definitely want to thank him for uh for mentioning that that's going to help me out a whole lot which is really really nice uh, a few other guys here they uh this guy actually made me laugh cody says x tech morale is down due to morale being turned on apparently you can't turn off the 100% overall morale you can just turn off the meeting so morale is still gonna be there which is kind of a problem I don't like it but we're gonna have to kind of we're gonna have to stick with what it is. I don't think that we can uh, do anything about it, unfortunately, so. But as for that, there's a few other things I wanna go over here. Cody Smith, he says, Boucher was a beast at Legacy at 81 or 82 overall, always gave me 25 to 30 goals. I remember that, he was a tank, and a lot of you guys told me to get Yanni Ordeo, and he's 81 overall, so we may have to look at that as well, and a lot of you guys told me Ryan Klo retired, and you guys are right. I didn't even know that. I had to look that up online, and he actually did retire so we are going to uh, throw him in the AHL we're gonna bring a player up we're gonna scratch him we're gonna send him right down and we're gonna have to try to find a third line winger whether in free agency or via a trade so we're gonna have to do some work here to find a third line winger I gotta bring him down like back to edit lines I guess I, I guess I have to go best lines right now can I go to roster moves I can't do it until I edit the line that's kind of dumb uh, we'll go best lines and then I'll just have to send him down so let's go ahead and go to uh, go to roster moves got to send down Ryan Klo if he gets picked up on waivers so be it but I got to send him down since technically he uh, he is not a part of the team and he obviously got less lost morale since being sent down obviously so I don't really really like that a bunch of players are gonna be upset that uh, that he that people left the squad and that their uh, their overalls are going to go down because of it. It's really, really stupid. Not a big fan at all. So we got to bring a player up here. Uh, who can we bring up in the system? Uh, we got to bring up a winger. Let's bring up Tettenby for right now until we find another player in the uh, either the free agency or in... Uh, and via trade so a couple more things I want to do is I want to go to uh, free agency and I definitely want to uh, want to find out if we can get Yanni Ordeo for the backup goalie and obviously I want to see if there's a third line winger we could go potentially get because we, de we definitely have the room we definitely have the cap space and Sean Bergenheim or Chris Prestige those are two pretty decent options but first things first I want to get a goalie I got a couple other comments to go over as well so the first goalie uh, you guys tell me to go get is Yanni Ordeo and I think you don't want me to get Ramo, Emery or the Briz because they're all a little bit older and uh, this guy can potentially get a jump and he's pretty cheap at uh, just over a million bucks so I'm a nice guy I'll give you 1.3 for one year to come be our backup in New Jersey I'm currently considering my options I'll get back to you later all right I can deal with that now we need a third line winger and don't forget we did offer Mike Richards a contract as well so uh, okay Okay, we gotta talk about Patrick Iliosh as well. That could be our third line winger. Okay, okay. So there's a comment here, and a few other people told me bring Iliosh back to New Jersey, and I agree. 
I agree with you. He's played his entire career with the New Jersey Devils. It's only right to bring him back. It would be wrong if we didn't. Yeah, we could go get a Chris Versteeg, who's one overall better. But does he have the history and the Stanley Cup rings that Patrick Ilyash has? Absolutely not. We're going to give him a nice retirement settlement as well. We're going to bring you back at $3 million for one year. Welcome back, Patrick Ilyash. We're going to reward you for your almost 20 years of service for the New Jersey Devils. There you go, Patty Ilya. She's going to be our new third line winger. We also got, uh, where is he, Mike Richards hopefully coming to the team. So we're spending a little bit of money and it's not going to be a whole lot, but it's definitely going to help out the team. Uh, is there any other comments I have to go over? I think that's just about it. Yeah, so the last thing was to bring Patrick Ilyash back and we did that. So now we're not going to get any one of those players right now because uh, we have to wait a few days until they either get signed or choose to sign whether or not they actually sign uh, but this is our team going into game number one uh, we had to bring up Bo Bennett which is pretty decent and uh, the goaltenders obviously we're going to roll with Corey Snyder as our number one goalie in game number one defense looking like this uh, there's some controversy about Brandon Gormley we may have to go look at another defenseman in free agency to fill his spot uh, maybe we'll go after a Dan Boyle type player but as for right now I want to get the first game underway I want to get Taylor Hall debut underway let's simulate uh, up to this day let's see maybe if okay Mike Richards did actually sign that's great uh, did anyone else sign no so Mike Richards is the only one to sign we're waiting on those other guys uh, let's go ahead and put Mike Richards on the fourth line center spot and then we're going to get game number one underway we can finally send Mark Savard down uh, let's go to roster moves send that guy down he's making like four and a half five million bucks so that's nice to see we can uh, throw him down in the minors. Mark Savard, see you later. Clear up some cap space in the system. We're going to go ahead and call up uh, Mike Richards. There you go. Welcome to the team, buddy. Mike Richards in the NHL once again. There you go. We're going to go edit lines. Probably just go best lines, honestly. It's just going to put him there. I may think about putting him on the PK maybe a little bit. Uh, Mike Richards, I want you on the fourth line. There you go. That all seems to be perfect. Special teams, Henrique, Zajac, Paul Mary, Bennett. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, that's that's totally fine. I'm gonna wait on you guys to let me know about what we should do on the power play and the penalty kill. I just want to get the simulation started. I want to get game number one underway. I want to get those free agents and uh, I just want to get Taylor Hall's debut underway. That's the main thing that I want to do right now. So let's go ahead against the Florida Panthers. It's not a home game though. Our next home game is in uh, three games up against the Anaheim Ducks where Taylor Hall is going to make his home debut in the Prudential Center there in New Jersey. So let's go ahead here. This is really different. Oh my God. First period here. Let's see how the New Jersey Devils are going to play under new management. First period. 1-1. One, one, Travis Zajac scores the goal there and then Sevier gets one against Corey Snyder. Period number two. Oh shit. They get one. They're up by one here going into the third period. Let's go ahead and resume the simulation. Uh, there's a couple of different buttons. Oh man. He gets a second of the game and he makes it a three to one hockey game all the buttons are different for the simulation so I'm not quite used to it yet Kyle Paul Mary gets a goal cuts the lead to one ten minutes left come on guys come on Halsey come on Hall get a goal in your debut seven I guess you can only go times eight okay five minutes left four three two one come on guys get a late minute buzzer beater not gonna happen we drop game one unfortunately all right that's fine uh, I don't know if Taylor Hall got a point or not. Maybe a stat screen could show me that. That would be so helpful. Uh, now let's see if those players sign Patrick Ilyash. And uh, there you go. Patrick Ilyash is back on the squad. He's gained morale. Of course he is. He's happy to be back. And obviously Yanni Orio, he signed as well. But the Albany Devils are not happy for some reason. Let's go ahead and... Uh, that's so stupid how they get anxiety for playing with their new team. That's so stupid. That's seriously the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, let me go ahead and put these players on the team, and I'll see you guys in one second. We're going to go ahead and send Keith Kincaid down. He may be picked up on waivers, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. He didn't actually get picked up on waivers, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's nice. He's going to go. See, why is Mike Camilleri upset that Keith Kincaid, all these players are pissed. That's such a dumb thing. It's honestly so annoying. That means that their overall could potentially go down. 
Like, that's, that's just absolutely ridiculous. It's such a strange thing. I really dislike morale. Uh, but let's go ahead here, and we got everything that we need. Maybe look at uh, at a third pairing defenseman to get Brandon Gormley out of there. Uh, but Mike Richards, you know, we'll play Mike Richards on the third line. Uh, where is Patty Ilyash? Patty Ilyash going to go there. Third line winger. You know what? Let's make him a second line winger. We, he deserves to be back in New Jersey on the second line. I'm a little bit concerned about our defense making Brendan Gormley. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Gormley should be sent down. Potentially, potentially. I uh, don't want to. I don't want to make too many changes, but we can have a look in the free agency. I do want to get a decent chunk of simulation completed, though. Let's go ahead and look at this at the uh, free agents. I know that Dan Boyle is available. He might not be too bad. We got to send our scout out once again. Free agents, though. I, I mean, we have the money. We have 11 million bucks to spend. And we get Quincy, Dan Boyle, Grossman, Mazaros, Yan Haida. Uh, Dan Boyle might not be bad. 40 years old, uh, 2.5 for only one year. Kyle Quincy, he's a top six. Uh, all these guys are top sixes, I guess. Um, Nicholas Grossman. Let's bring in a vet. Let's bring in Dan Boyle. And we can go ahead. I'm going to give him 2 million bucks. Probably his last year. We're going to see a few retirements this year. Uh, probably Patty Ilyash and then obviously Dan Boyle. So uh, that's going to strengthen up our defensive core quite a bit getting uh brendan gormley out of there which is definitely nice let's go ahead and simulate a few more games let's get the uh one against the uh, tampa bay lightning done and then we'll slow sim our home game against the anaheim ducks and may have to go put dan boyle on the squad uh and we lose once again so we are 0-2 to start off the year honestly i don't think we're going to be that great of a team to be brutally honest with you uh we may maybe in the bottom 10 uh we got dan boyle though he's he is there 80 two overall it's nice to see now i gotta go back and put him on the team that's why i like legacy a lot more it's just very very simple to get around it's very simple to edit your lines and i just feel like this takes a little bit extra time so let me edit this all together and uh, i'm gonna get the team all ready to go all right so here is the team after a few different uh moves there we obviously got patrick Ilyas, we got mike richards now we got bo bennett and fiddler and yosef's in there on our fourth line i like our team i like it there's a lot of work to be done but i think we're headed in the right direction and we got dan boyle who's definitely a, uh, a veteran presence out there to teach the young defenseman how it's done uh he's definitely definitely going to help out for this year anyways I don't think he's going to be around for next year I think he's going to retire after this one so let's go ahead and slow sim our first game we got a promotional night here where everyone in the building or the first couple hundred people are going to get a Taylor Hall bobblehead we're going to welcome him to New Jersey the right way let's go first period 0-0 period number two. Oh man two nothing gets laughing Perry too much for us they're too much for us let's go here let's try to find the back of the net Andrew Cogliano Oh man, they're just too much for us. They're too much for us right now. And we're not showing our home fans what we're made of. This could be a very, very long year. 18, 40 to 18 other shots. We don't even deserve to be in this game. All right, well, people are throwing their bobbleheads. They're pissed. Uh, like I said, I don't think we're going to be that great of a team. We get shut out and we are 0-3 to start off the year. That, uh... That's not great. That's definitely not great. So John Merrow is stoked about his ice time. Let's get a few more games underway here. Uh, we're 0-3. I want to get at least a couple of victories here. Let's start start getting the ball rolling here. No excuses. Uh, we've got a game against the Boston Bruins. Uh, our happiness... Our fan rating is 83. We get an overtime loss. Our locker room team chemistry is a 71. Come on, get a victory, and we lose 5-1. Oh, 4 and 1 to start off the year. There you go. Finally get a victory against uh, Argento's old team. Are uh, we going to get two in a row? Going to get two in a row here against the Chicago Blackhawks? Nope. 3-0 loss. 1-6-1. One, Our fan happiness is way down. They're not happy. Fan happiness is 38. So we're not putting many asses in the seats right now. One nothing shooting loss. A shootout loss there. Uh, the 7-3-1 and one Tampa Bay Lightning. How are we going to do here? Let's, uh, let's slow sim that game. Come on. Our, our fan rating is way down. They don't want to come to our games and because we're playing absolutely awful. Let's go first period. And one nothing. There you go. Mike Camilleri on Ben Bishop. Period number two. Still one nothing. Third period. Oh, God. Come on. 
come on, come on. Brian Boyle and Steven Stamkos, and we lost another one. All right, so the fans are not happy. The team chemistry is down. We're not in a good place right now, but it's a, it might be okay, because getting a lottery position might not be the worst thing in the world. Okay, team rankings and sales. Where are we? Uh, so far, we have... Oh, God, we're way down here. We are 27th. We have made $400,000 so far. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, we made four hundred thousand dollars so far, where a team like uh, like New York has made three point five million. All right, game tickets. Uh, where are we for that? We are uh, way down here, twenty seventh. So we seem to be twenty seventh for quite a while. Wait, Nashville, the Bruins, and Pittsburgh have sold no tickets. What? How does that even make sense? That doesn't seem right. Something's not right there. Um, let's set some more prices here. Let's see. I mean, our owner is happy. Um, the fan feedback, they don't like they don't like the prices. Let's make it uh 50 let's make it 50 54 bucks. Let's make things a little bit cheaper. 120. I'm trying to make things as cheap as I can, man. I can't go much cheaper than that. Uh, 167. We'll go 165 there. Or sorry, 200 265 bucks. We're gonna assign that, we're gonna assign those, and hopefully that makes the fans a little bit happier. Um, we're not in a good place right now. We're definitely not in a good spot. I'm gonna get a few more a few more games here. The first 10 games, we have a whopping four points. So maybe getting a lottery position would not be the worst thing right now. Let's get one more month of simulation completed. Maybe get a few more victories here, but like I said, I don't think we're gonna be that great of a hockey team. Uh, and let's get our scout out it. Let's get our scout out one more time. We're gonna send him to the queue. Like I said, though, I want to be on top of uh, of the scouting this year. I want to, there you go, get a victory, a shootout victory. I really want to be uh, on top of things. And a 3 nothing victory, 3-7-2, and two, a two-game winning streak. Oh, God, is that another victory? 3-7-2, uh, and two. oh, and that was actually a huge loss. We dropped two games to Buffalo, 3-9-2. and two. At least our fan happiness is up a little bit. We beat the Dallas Stars, and uh, I don't think we're going to beat Anaheim. Oh, we do, we beat Anaheim. There you go, fan happiness is up. That's nice. Uh, the 10, 9, and 0. There you go. Look at that. We beat the 10, 9, and 0 LA Kings. So we're getting some victories, guys. We're rolling here. Up against Toronto, 3-2 loss. Okay, this month has definitely been a lot better. Uh, definitely been a lot better. Uh, the games we're losing, we're losing by like 1 or 2. And the games we're winning, we're winning by 1 and 2. So we're really getting those grindy, those grindy uh, victories, which is awesome. So now I want to go to Europe here. Uh, who has a lot of players 18 forwards 13 forwards uh national league rest of the world russia's got 11 forwards so i guess we'll scout them let's go only for let's go for three weeks let's just even everything up uh we're gonna so sim the last game here against the winnipeg jets definitely a much better month here a uh, a very well improved month the albany devils are 10 8 and 0 so they're not doing that bad to start off the year but uh first period 1 1 andy green and nikolai ehlers Okay, second period. 2-1, Mark Shifley with end off the third on a good note. And Bo Bennett, Mike Richards, and Mike Camilleri. Two Mikes and a Bo. There you go. They uh, they get the big victory there, 4-2. Now we're going to look at the stats, see how everyone was performing throughout the first, I guess, month and a half of uh, the, the simulation here. But... You know what? I think I'm getting used to this. I'm getting used to the menus and the simulation. It's not that bad. It's definitely definitely bearable. I'm uh, getting more used to it. So I'm sorry if I'm really not on top of my game. I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out things still. Uh, let's look at the stats here. We have 20 points, so uh, it's definitely improved from four. Uh, Kyle Palmieri is leading the way with 15 points. Uh, Taylor Hall he only has 12 points. Okay, all right. So look at Patty Ilyash. There you go. What a free agent signing. You guys were right. Bring this guy back. 14 points there. What a beast. Has one point off our team lead. Taylor Hall's only got 12. Wow. 
I don't know what it is, Hall. Come on, buddy. We need you to step it up here. Uh, who else are we looking at here? Mike Camilleri with 12 points. Patty Ilias, 14. Uh, looks like Adam Henrique and Kyle Palmieri are leading the way. Uh, I don't know, man. Taylor Hall, got to step it up, buddy. He's a minus 7, so definitely not a great start at all. Mike Richards not doing too bad for a third-line centerman. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, Bo Bennett got one goal, minus 9. Uh, Brandon Gormley hasn't really played at all. So I guess that's uh, not a great start, but definitely not that bad. And, oh, man, our defense is just awful. Holy crap. We've scored 8, 12, uh, 13, 14 points from our defense. That is not enough. We, oh, man, that's definitely not enough. Uh, goalies, um, let's see here. Let's see how Ordeo is doing. 2-1, and one, and then Corey Schneider is 7-10. and 10. You really can't blame Corey Schneider. We haven't really given him that much offense. Let's have a look here at the entire NHL. Um... Yeah, that's uh, definitely room for quite a bit improvement. Like, is it too early to make a trade for a defenseman? Is it too early? Uh, Steven Stamkos leading the way with Connor McDavid, uh, Tyler Sagan, and Raquel. Wow, okay. Jamie Benn, Jordan Eberle, Palak, Kucherov. All of the uh, all of the notables here. A bunch of players scoring on a point-per-game pace. Have a look at the goaltenders, who's, uh, who's playing amazing right now. Probably Ben Bishop. That's one of my guesses. Yeah, he's uh, number Number two with Steve Mason in the lead. Uh, there you go. So pretty decent goaltenders there. Um, I don't think you can blame Corey Snyder for a slow start. I think Taylor Hall needs to step it up. Maybe putting him on another power play line would be would be something we could do. Um, I mean, is getting a def like we could really use an Adam Larson right now. Um, but I mean, our defense needs a kick in the ass here really really does like what are we gonna trade like we don't really have a whole lot to trade away we have a couple of prospects that we could potentially deal um yeah, i don't know i don't really want to give up our future for a defenseman right now andy green john moore santini quenville like what defensemen are available uh that we could go get let me have a quick look around the nhl the thing is i definitely don't want to give up a pick like james wasniewski would definitely help out uh, what's his contract like? That's so cheap for an 86 overall defenseman. Oh my god, that's dirt cheap. James Wisniewski, that would be, that'd definitely be a nice addition to our awful defensive core right now. Let's have a look at how he's doing this year with, uh, with Tampa Bay. I know they got a sick team. Like, three goals, six assists. I mean, points-wise, he's almost scored as many points as our, as our entire defense. Like, uh, that could be a definite possibility. Um, can we give up like a mid-level prospect for him? That might not be the worst idea. Uh, like what's this Jacobs like? Um, he's a defensive prospect. Don't really want to give him up. I mean, that's such a cheap option, right? Such a cheap option. I don't really want to give up a pick either because we're, could be in the running for a lottery pick. Um... I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments for next episode. I'm not going to pull the trigger on any crazy trade quite yet. Um, if you guys have an idea of any defenseman that we could potentially go after, I think that is something that would definitely help out our team. And maybe get someone who's younger, like uh, maybe uh, who's the first person that comes to mind, like Marco Mueller, who's a younger guy with lots of potential. Like, I want to grow this team. I don't want to get a guy who is, you know, in his prime right now. There's no point. Um... What else we got here? I mean, there's definitely defensemen available. Just what assets do we have to trade for those players? Um, Michael Del Zotto, he's kind of in his prime. I don't want to. Really, I don't really want to get a player like that. Like a Cody CC would be just amazing. And his trade value is relatively low. Like, could we trade a mid-level prospect? For a defenseman in its in his prime, like Brady Shea. No, he's not NHL ready right now. Um, I'm trying to find a suitable defenseman. Like they're definitely out there, but uh, I don't want to give an arm and a leg for a defenseman that. Uh, I mean, obviously defensemen are are a high commodity. Like Ryan Ellis would not be too bad. 85 overall, that would help out our defensive core. Pretty much anything at this point would help us out. Even Jeff Petrie. Like every team has a defenseman I would love to get. Jared Spurgeon, Marco Scandella, Mike Riley's not too bad. L.A. Kings, who do they got? Uh, Christian Erhoff. Do they have Erhoffs? 
still. Uh, Braden McNabb, no, 25 years old. Like, there's definitely players out there, so I'm just going to go through. You guys can let me know if there's any players you think that we could uh, go get that would help our defense. I think that's definitely a large issue right now is our defense. They're just awful. 14 points, that's that's terrible. That's not that's not good. That's definitely not good. Oh, wait, Cronwall. I mean, I just kind of went back on what I said. I didn't want to get an older defenseman, but uh, Cronwall's available. Only six points this year. I mean, I shouldn't be looking strictly at points, but you look at all of our defense and we're all in the minus category. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will see you in the next one. What do you guys think our, uh, like our goal is for this year? Like obviously our division is really, really strong. What's our goal? Do we go for a lottery pick? Do we tank? I don't know. Let me know guys and I'll see you in the next video.